In an old hangar in the city of Kaiserslautern, women of the Kaiserslautern military community strap on some skates and transform into the roller girls of the apocalypse. Uh, I've been with these guys almost since the beginning, a month after they started, so two years and some change. Um, yeah, so it's been a blast. There's still a couple, a few original members left, but uh, we've grown a lot. And it's, uh, it's pretty amazing some of the people that have come. I mean, we have active duty, we got spouses, we got dependents, we've got local nationals, we've got civilians, we've got everyone to come out and play. And some have kids, some don't, some are married, some are single, you know. A whole plethora of different sorts of people. Um, I think it's great that we are so mixed. It gives it a lot of diversity, so there's no just the spouses that have a lot of time on their hands. Everybody brings something totally different to the table. Um, we, we do have friends, Americans, Germans, like we're from all over the place, so it's really nice to just have it mixed. My one favorite thing about roller derby? Getting hit, people. <laughs> I'm a blocker, so it's, it's one of my favorite things. Even though we're older, like, you know, we're all, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 even, we still, like, get to just hang out and, you know, don't care about what's going on at home. You just come here, you forget everything else, and you just, you know, go to town. You just use bad language. <laughs> you just have fun on the track with all these girls, and everything else stays outside. The Roller Girls of the Apocalypse compete in bouts all over Europe and are always welcoming fresh meat to join the team. Reporting from Ramstein Air Base, I'm Senior Airman David Mead.